So this is a quick review and a guide on how to use the SP24. This flash was made really popular a couple of years ago by the Strobist blog, and that's why I picked it up. Um, and I have the same feelings that he had. It's really durable. It was pretty good price for $50, and um, it's just a workhorse. Um, I've had no problems with it in the four year, years I've used it, and I use it all the time too. So um, a really great buy if you can find it. So what does it look like? On the back are a bunch of settings, um, auto and TTL, but I mainly use it in manual. Um, on the side, you're going to see two ports. The top one is TTL, bottom one is sync port. On the front of the camera, um, that's light meter, but really do I use it because I use it in manual mode. Um, you are also going to see you're also going to see a battery port. I don't have the external battery adapter, but um, if you can find it, it's a good deal. The batteries do run pretty quick on this. Um, and here are the four double A's. So really easy to get batteries for it. Really simple. So let's get into how to use it. On the back, you're going to see that there. Um, I put my meter on the wall, so I'm giving a meter example. That light button turns on the LCD. I don't really use it at night, so I don't use it that much. So I'm going to set up a hypothetical situation to get um, a certain settings I want. So I want to get the meter to read um, f8 at a distance of 5 feet with a 35 millimeter focal length lens at an ISO of 400. And so the first part of to do this is you want to change um, your zoom length. So the zoom length already is 35 on here. And to change the zoom length, you're going to hit that um, zoom button. And um, to figure out your real focal length, it differs on every single camera. So um, some cameras have magnification factors. Most digital do. And so you want to change that um, to the right one. And it depends on each camera, so you're going to have to figure that out, out on your own. Some have a 2 or some have a 1.5 uh, magnification factor. The next thing is you're going to want to hit the set button to change the ISO. We're going to move it to 400 and then we're going to change the f-stop by hitting set again to f8. And then you're going to see that um, that little black bar on top of the numbers and that's going to show the distance. So in this um, I'm purposely putting the distance too far and then I'm going to hit the flash. And it meters way too high. It meters at f32. So to get it down I'm going to have to hit the m button. So you see that there's M over 1 half, which means it has 1 half power. But to get it to F8, um, we're going to have to put it at 1 16th power. So that will give you um, the correct reading around um, F8. And so what happens if it doesn't work and it's too high or too low? Well, depending on that, you can increase or decrease your f-stop. If um, your reading is too high, then I would decrease your f-stop, making it go lower. If it's too low, I would increase your f-stop. And that's a quick guide. Thanks.